Previously on The Walking Dead. I'm freezing. Wait till we get up to Wellington. Then talk to me about coal. I'm gonna go look for more wood. Where's the rest of your group? I, I'm by myself. Bullshit. Krista, run! I'm out. Grab her. Let's go. Would someone mind telling me what the fuck is going on here? She was bit by a dog. For all we know, she could be working with Carver. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? Maybe I could stay here for a little bit, if that's all right. I've got no problem with it. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? You were in the woods with Krista. Please. Ah! I'm fine. I'm fine. Just... just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Come this way! Damn it, you get your asses over here, both of you! No! We have to go! You could have saved him! How could you just leave him? My goodness, this is how we're starting out. What's the plan here, Nick? Nick? What are you doing? Nick? Jeez. Are you kidding me? Okay, then. Sorry about Pete. Whenever. Why'd you leave my uncle? Back at the stream. Why'd you follow me? Pete got bit. What? He got bit. He wasn't going to make it. do now I don't care if we're stuck here we should at least look around maybe we can find something to help us get out of here knock yourself out uh, Nick is really bummed out I feel terrible for making that decision last time but hey everybody and welcome to the Walking Dead season 2 episode 2 a house divided so yeah this is this is how it started out so Still. I know what it is. The fuck you do. Okay, what then? It's for making booze. But that rig ain't fit to piss in. Do you think they'll break through that window? Guess I'll just stand here, talking to myself. I know that feel. Clementine? <laughs> um, oh, what was I gonna mention? Oh, unlike the first episode of this, um, 
This is a blind playthrough, as in I haven't played this episode previously, so I have no idea what's about to happen. So yeah, all of the fear, all of the surprise is genuine this time. So let's have fun with that. All this food is rotten. I said this food is rotten. It's rotten like your soul. Nah, Nick's not Nick's not a bad guy. He's just he's just bummed out. What is that stuff? Let me see. <sighs> Whiskey. Now what? Oh fuck if I know. We wait, I guess. You know, it's funny because in this episode, Nick gets some whiskey, and then in the TV show, Beth wanted whiskey. It's like, <laughs> I just guess it's a coincidence or something. Oh, he's got to stop doing that. Stop! I had to kill my mom. <laughs> Sounds weird when I say it out loud, huh? Luke always used to push me. I never wanted to go into business with him. I remember when he sold me on it. His big plan. Some fucking plan. Case of beer in, he just said, Nick, we're burning daylight. And that was that. After six months, we were flat broke. I didn't care. We were having fun. I wish I was like him. I wish I could just keep moving all the time. I'm just not built like that. Everyone I grew up with, it all happened to them. Now, it's gonna happen to us. We're all so fucked. This whole world is fucked. We'll make it. Bullshit. We can try. I mean, what's the point? We'll just march to some new place and somebody else will die. It's never gonna stop. Eventually, it'll be our turn. I can't believe we've been here a day. A day. It's been a day, right? Hey, kid. Have a drink with me. No thanks. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pass on that. Listen, they're not coming for us. You should go. Run for it. What, what are you gonna do? Stay here. I'm tired. Go find Luke and the rest. They'll take care of you. They're good people. I knew someone like you. He was always screwing up, too. Screwing up? I didn't ask for any of this. Nobody does, but so what? Good point. Come with me. Are you kidding? And leave all this? You can't just sit here and die. Why not? What does it matter? You still have Luke and everyone else. They're family. Nick, I need your help. Please. You're right. Ooh. Yeah. 
Now look, if we get separated, cabin's only half a mile from here. You can't miss it. You ready? Ready as ever. Drunk what? Nick. God, really? I so pressed R1. Wow. Wow, just, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is a definite blind playthrough. Let's try this again. I just gotta remember all the controls again. Really? That's... That's Nick's fate? I don't know what to feel right now. This, this, it's too much, all at once. Man, I need a drink now. Clementine, are you all right? Luke's not with you? Where's Alvin? What happened? It's been hours. Where are they? Clem! We got attacked. By who? Walkers. Jesus! Pete got killed. I was with Nick, but... My God. Where were you? Where were you exactly? Down by the stream. We gotta go. Just hold on a minute. My husband is still out there! Get the guns! Luke and Alvin went out looking for you. I told them not to go. Damn it, Luke. Clementine, can you, can you please watch Sarah? She's upstairs. Just distract her. And don't tell her anything. She gets nervous. Just go. Hurry. You'll be safe inside. Just don't open the doors for anything. We'll be back soon. Say cheese! I found this under the house. There was all kinds of old stuff. It's so cool. Take one of me. Come on, take one of me. Please? Sure. Get me in a good pose, okay? Okay, I'm ready. What's wrong? Um, where's my dad? Uh, I can't lie. I just can't lie. No, what's going on? He told you not to tell me, didn't he? He is in trouble. Oh my gosh. What happened? Clem? What's going on? Pete's dead. It's 
sorry. I, I, I just need to... You want to see what I found? Will you show me how to use it? Um... If something's wrong, I should know. What if I have to use one? Nobody tells me anything. It's too dangerous. Everything is dangerous. I need to know sometime. You should let your dad teach you. What should I shoot? Don't do that! Whoa! Sorry, sorry. Maybe I could practice outside. There's that tree. Hey, Luke's back. <laughs> I'm, I'm still just. What the hell, Sarah? You don't point a gun at somebody like that. Don't, don't get gun fever like that ever again. Ever. Okay, there wasn't much there. Oh, okay, I see how this That's is. That's not Luke. Oh, Clem, it's not. I think I know him. He can't see me. You have to make him go away. Go and find somewhere to hide. Where? Hello? Clem, I can't breathe. I, I can't breathe. Shh. Hello? I'm locked. Oh, shit. Hello there. Who are you? Well, actually, I'm your neighbor. Neighbor? That's right. My family and I are set up a ways down river. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into each other yet. What's your name? Hello, I'm sorry to disturb you. I only need a couple minutes of your time. I don't nice place. Is there anyone else around? You don't usually see cabins this big out here. Sure could pack a lot of folks in there. We have a big group. Lots. Oh? How big? Dozens. They'll be back soon. And they left you here all alone. They must trust you. Well, I'll cut to the chase. I'm out looking for my people. Seven of them, to be exact. They've been gone a long while, and... I'm worried they might have gotten lost. Maybe you've seen them. A couple of farm boys and an old man. A Spanish guy and his daughter. Quiet girl. A bit taller than you. Big black guy. This big. And a pretty little pregnant lady. I haven't seen them. Well, that's a shame. You sure? Pretty sure. Okay, that was a lie, but it was in defense. I feel... ...comfortable whatsoever. Well, it looks like a damn tornado ran through here. Must be like, close to ten people with you? More. Hmm. Just passing through, or you been here a while? Hey, listen, kid. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up north looking for Shangri-La. Now, I'm not sure why you'd go anywhere after finding this place. Hell, I just got here, and I already don't want to leave. Where do you live? Yeah, down by the river there. There's a sweet little spot with a boat where we pitched camp. Got a few tents up and everything else, and... Like I said, I'm surprised we haven't run into each other. Do you have a dog? No, I don't. What difference does it make? Just wondering. Ah, oh, Sam. Shit. 
Where does this go? Oh, I'll take it. God, this is too much. It's a real nice place. Kind of cozy. Make yourself at home before I, I stab you. Wore shirts like this. Doctor. Real smug son of a bitch. But a smart man. I miss him. What's his name? Carlos. Well, well. White's in trouble. Three moves away from checkmate. What was that? What was what? I don't know. Oh, God. I thought you said nobody's here. I didn't hear anything. No! Son of a bitch! No! No! Uh-uh. I, I'm going back to the kitchen and get that knife. I, I don't... Ugh. What can I do? Stay under the bed like Rick. Stay under the bed. Nobody's here. Seems that way. Didn't mean to be rude. Couldn't just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? Sure. Who's this? Must be someone who lived here. Must be. You have no idea who these people are, do you? Do you know them? Let me ask you this. When you met them, how much did they trust you? What's your point? If people don't trust you, how can you trust them? Well, I think I've troubled you long enough. I can let myself out. Don't come back. You have a real good day now. Ooh. Where is he? He's gone. What if he comes back? Let's, let's not... Let's hope he doesn't come back. We need to find the others. We can't go outside. Clementine. Sarah. You were with Nick, right? We gotta go find him. A man was here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. Calm down? I am calm. You calm down. He was coming in either way. I told you not to open the door for anyone. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. I didn't ask his name. You didn't ask his name? How could you not ask his name? He had a gun. I didn't want to make him mad. Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Did he sound different? He had a big brown coat. Did it have a lining? A collar? Yeah, fur. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. Uh, your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not going to do anything crazy or not nice, right? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. All right, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? He saw a picture of me. A picture? What were you doing taking pictures? 
Carlos. What? You need to calm down, all right? You're scaring your daughter. You told me to distract her. Distract? Sarah. So I'm just an idiot? I thought we were friends. I didn't mean to press that. We got lucky. I meant to press circle. Clementine must have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving out. Alvin, wait! We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. What does he want? To bring us back. Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. Look, we gotta find Nick on our way out of here. You know where he was, right? Yeah. All right. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. Well, I guess... I guess we're... <laughs> That's how The Walking Dead is. You can't just stay in one place. Now, you said it was just up here? Yeah, just a little ways. Hey, Clem. Sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm just a little on edge. It's just a tough time right now with the pregnancy and all. You and Alvin can probably relate. It's okay. If it's not you I'm yelling at lately, it's Alvin. And then I'm in real trouble. I can handle it. I'm not a little kid. I felt the same way when I was your age. My dad was always giving me shit. And I always thought he didn't know a damn thing. <laughs> I know you did your best back there. You know, none of us would make it on our own. Sometimes it's hard knowing just how dependent I am on everyone. I'm not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her. Or him if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? Oh, where's Nick? That's where we were. My guess is that he's probably back inside. Nick! Maybe? Get the door. Or at least I hope so. Jesus. Oh. You got any aspirin? Nick, you asshole. <laughs> Pete's dead. I know, man, I do. We gotta get moving. Okay, Carver's gang showed up. Can you make it? Yeah. Yeah. Good, let's go. I just wanted to say, thanks for not giving up on me. Don't worry about it. I won't forget it. Oh, Clem has turned a new leaf and is like really serious about everything now. Wait, Nick, what's wrong? What happened back there in that cellar? 
he do something stupid? Like he can tell me. I'm just looking out for him. He got drunk. I was scared. God damn it, Nick. I'm worried about that kid. But keep an eye on him for me, would you? You sure you still want to come with us? Look, I know we got off to a rough start, and I can't make any promises it won't get rougher, but we all know you now. I don't have anywhere else to go. Well then, welcome to the party. Yeah, thanks. We're, uh, we're smarter than we look. I figure we got about four or five days to reach those mountains. Now, if they're tracking us, we should be able to lose them up there. Five days? It's gonna be okay, Beck. We have to keep moving now. It's our only choice. Wow, things are really moving forward now. I hope Nick... I hope... I, I feel bad for Nick, but... I hope he's not a liability. Because he's kind of... Okay, give it that, you know... Pete died and everything. Oh, five days later? All right. See anything? She better see something. We've been walking for a damn week. There's a lift or something. Chairlift? It must be that ski resort. I've never been skiing. Beck and I went once. It wasn't pretty. Here, eat this back. There's a building on the mountain. What's it look like? It's big. That sounds like a good place to spend the night. else and I take take it back from the first episode Rebecca's not that bad there's a little house by the bridge how big is it it's pretty small there's the bridge and does it look passable I think so good we have to cross that bridge let's go hold on now we can't all go sprinting across that thing, okay? We get spotted out there, we're gonna be trapped. Going around that lake will take too long. Right, but look, we've got no idea who's out there. Okay, I'm gonna sneak across, make sure it's clear before we bring the whole group over. You think splitting up the group is a good idea? Well, I never said it was a good idea, but it's better than risking everyone at once. What's your plan? Clem and I can scoot across low and slow, make sure nobody's waiting for us on the other side. We'll have a tough time covering you from back here. Well, we'll just turn back if it gets hairy. Clementine should stay here. She's... She's what? She's just a little girl, Luke. She's a valuable little girl. I can do it. See? No problem. It's gonna be fine. Okay, we'll signal you guys in ten minutes. Just watch for a light at the far side. I can go too. You stay with the group. I'm fine, Luke. I don't like this. Yeah, well, when's the last time you liked anything, Carlos? <laughs> if something happens, I'll cover you. Come on. Yeah, Carlos. Clementine is not your average little girl now. Hey, uh, sorry about that. I just I could really use your eyes, and right now I don't trust Nick to tie his own shoes. You're just still on edge after the Carver thing. It's been five days. Why would Carver still be following us? What's the most important thing in this world? What does everyone want? Even the gangs. You know, what do you think they're all after? Food. Nope. Listen, what's the one thing a guy would walk hundreds of miles to get back? Family. It's a tough world out there without people you can trust. Anyways, you... You can ask Rebecca, okay? I'm, I'm not gonna get in the middle of it. Oh. We've all made mistakes. Done things that we regret. It's not my place to talk about someone else's past, you know? I know what that's like. Yeah. Hmm. 
can't shoot them. Too much noise. But there are only two. Let's take them. I like your style. So do I. I'll take the big one. You get shorty. Wish we could use guns. We should be okay. Got it. I'll take the small one. Good. Let's do it. It, is that the way I'm supposed to be holding this hammer? Oh, okay, I see. Go ahead. Give it a good pull. It should come free. Ah, uh, it's stuck. I've done this before, remember? In a shed. <laughs> yeah, remember that? Wait. Okay, I just gotta... There we go. Nice work. Gruesome. But, but good job. I gotta say, Luke, Luke is a pretty good guy. I mean, yeah, sure, we got off on the wrong foot pretty much with everybody in the group in the first episode, but, you know, they're, they're starting to shape up. They're starting... Things are getting better. But, I mean, Luke really never had a problem with Clementine, like, at all. This, this is not good. Shit. My, my yeah. That, that's, that's exactly what I thought. Oh no, what? Clem, I'm okay, I just, I'm stuck. Shit. I can't reach. It's okay. Clem, look, we'll, we'll figure something out. Behind. You're being awfully calm. Oh, shit. Our one. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Just. Oh, crap. <laughs> no. Oh, my. Ah, oh, jeez. I keep forgetting which stick it is. It's is it the left or the right? I I think it's the Oh, jeez. Grab it. Why isn't this working? Not today! Okay, I got to save Luke. Here, give it here. Come on, Luke. Come on! Oh, jeez. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Let's keep going. Oh. <sighs> You see him? Yeah. Just play it cool. And you do the talking. What? Why me? I don't want to get in a fight. You really think he chewed a little girl? Just don't make any sudden moves. And don't piss him off. And 
don't tell him anything. You know, on second thought, maybe I should do the talking. Is he with Carver? It's hard to see. I don't think so. Well, who are you? Well, who's asking? I am. Wanna help me out here? What do you want? Saw you coming, and I thought I'd meet you halfway. Okay. Huh. You don't look like assholes. Are you assholes? No offense or anything. Not entirely. You run into a lot of assholes. You're the one holding a gun. Touche. You folks headed north like everyone else? Everyone else? I see at least one group a day move through here. You all look the same. It's like a great migration of the dazed and confused. Do you know Carver? Carver? Like George Washington Carver? The peanut guy? What? <laughs> He's a man. <laughs> Never heard of him. But no, I want some peanut butter though. I gotta say, you two look like shit. If you need food, I've got some canned stuff in that station back there. Well, that's uh, awful nice of you. What's the catch? No catch. I've got plenty. Well, all right then. Thank you. Hey, no problem. Nice running into friendly faces out here. Like I said, I've got food and supplies back in the station. And if you want... What the fuck, man? What the hell is he doing? No, 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 no. He's, he's with us. Don't. Nick! No! Put it down! Stop! <laughs> oh, shit. Did I hit him? Where is he? I told you not to shoot. What? Who was that guy? Why didn't you wait for a signal? He was going to help us. How do you know? Damn it, Nick. I told you not to shoot. How was I supposed to hear you? You gave me a clear shot. That shot rang out for miles. We gotta get off this bridge. Let's go. Oh my god, Nick. Could I have stopped that? Or... Oh my... Ugh. This is too much. This is too much right now. It, it, this is the walking feels, like, entirely, in a nutshell. God. I need a, I need a breather. Who the fuck was that back there? I don't know. Looked like he had a gun on you. That asshole drew on me. He was about to shoot. Oh, was he? I'm telling you, man, he drew first. Well, that's not what it looked like to me. What did you see, Clem? Was that guy gonna shoot? Fuck you, Luke. You've been on my case the whole week. And why do you think that is, Nick? I don't know. It happened so fast. But you were right there. Either way, you could have hit one of us. Yeah, but I didn't. Look, I, I know Pete was close to you, Nick, but you can't- Don't fucking talk about him. You think he was with Carver? I don't know. I- no, I don't think so. But he fell over. He fell off the damn bridge? We have to keep moving. I can't. I need a minute. Fine. Luke, can I talk to you alone? Hmm. I can't... Ugh. Hey, Clem. You got anything to eat? Beck's dying here. Alvin, I told you I'm fine. Sorry, I'm out. Wish we still had those juice boxes. Yeah, me too. That man said he had food in the station. Mind checking it out? Maybe we could spend the night here. A little small for us, though. You could use a little downsizing. You're one to talk. I'm going to sit with Beck here for a minute. Okay, well... <laughs> Since I am not in the mood to make 
decisions, or at least for a bit. I'm gonna have to cut it off here, everybody. But once again, thanks for watching The Walking Dead Season 2. And I will see you on the next part. Right now, I gotta think about everything I've done so far. Just everything before I continue on. Oh my god. Anyway, see you on the next part.